Hi, Pete here again with another quick spin video, and I am with CF Moto's 450MT, probably the most talked about bike of 2024. It is everywhere at the moment. Very, very popular, and for good reason. So, of course, it's powered by the 449cc parallel twin engine with a 270-degree crank, which gives it V-twin style power characteristics and a great note. Now, it's the same motor that's shared across the SR, the cruisers that they've just brought out as well. It's a really, really sweet power plant. I love it to bits and it sounds good. Did I mention that? So CF Moto have given the 450MT adjustable suspension at both ends. And what I really, really like is that they've given it a 21 inch front and an 18 inch rear wheel. So your options for off-road tires are almost endless. So you've got this really neat little TFT dash here with all the information you could ever want. It's really clear, easy to read, and everything is operated through the left-hand switch block. It's really neat and tidy. What I love about it too is there's a dedicated button to go into off-road mode, which switches the rear ABS off and gets rid of traction control as well. It's really easy to use. I love not having to dive into the menu to find those things. So this particular bike has got a CF Moto high seat option fitted to it. Much better for someone my height, um, and I like that you sit more on the bike rather than in the bike, although there still is that sense of that. Now, off-road so far, I love the front end. It's really, really compliant and gives huge amounts of feedback, even with these tyres, which lack a little bit of grip off-road. They're fantastic on-road, not so good off-road. But still, it gives lots of feedback. You know exactly what that tyre is doing at all times. The rear hasn't given me any problems at all. It flows over corrugations pretty well and drives out. Haven't bottomed it out. I'm really impressed with the suspension, actually. And if you're a really light rider or you're a really heavy rider, it's tunable. Go and get it seen to by someone. Too many people forget to do that on their bikes. It's worth doing. There's a lot of talk out in the world about the standing position on the 450 MT. Some people are saying that if you're tall, you're going to need bar risers. I don't necessarily agree. I'm six foot one. I found it when I'm in the proper standing position it's perfectly fine. I wouldn't change it at all. The braking package consists of a single disc front, single on the rear as well. I can't fault the brakes. There's plenty of feel at both ends. There's plenty of bite and you really don't need any more, especially off-road. Riding around on the tarmac, I haven't required any more braking as well. So that's a big tick from me. Now look, as a first attempt at an adventure bike, I reckon CF Moto have absolutely kicked a goal with this. It's really, really hard to fault, and that's especially when you take into account that it's under $10,000 right away. It's the perfect bike for someone like me who has a road bike in the garage already, doesn't have a lot of spare cash, and wants to have a go at a bit of adventure riding. It's also great for people that are absolutely new to the adventure scene and want to try out some adventure riding without blowing huge amounts of cash. I know it's Chinese, but before you judge it, Get out there and have a go because it will impress you, I guarantee it.